so this is Joey. Um, Joey is operated by three puppeteers. Uh, the puppeteers that we've got here today, we've got Richard Vorster on the head, we've got Matt Tate there in the heart on the front legs, and then we've got Derek Arnold um, in the back there on the hind, the back legs. So, each of these puppeteers bring Joey to life, and hopefully you will agree, he looks very much alive, breathing right in front of your eyes. Good boy, Joey. Hello. Good boy. So, Joey is operated by three puppeteers, and each of those puppeteers has two tasks. They have a practical task, and they have an emotional task. So, on the head, Richard's practical task is showing us the focus and the eye line of the horse. Holding the head up, letting us know what Joey is looking at, and where his focus is, what he's paying attention to. That's his practical task. Now his emotional task is telling us what Joey is thinking and what Joey is feeling. And to do that, he uses those beautiful big ears. Now he's able to operate those ears with the trigger that's on the end of that pole. Remember in those slides earlier we had the sort of, we had that broomstick, it's now a very, very glamorous pole. And on that pole there's two triggers, one for the left and one for the right ear. Now with Joey, the, the ears tell us a lot. Currently, he looks relatively active and aware. His ears are forwards. He's quite chilled. He's all quite happy. Now, if his ears were to sort of to go out to the side, he might be a bit more tired or a little bit more relaxed. But if I was to clap my hands, suddenly his ears go back. He might look a little bit more angry. If I was to suddenly start doing this in front of him, you can suddenly see that he doesn't like this. His ears tell us a lot about what he's thinking and what he's feeling. Good boy, Joey, I'm sorry. Good boy. There we go, we've, we've made friends, good. So, Joey's head puppeteer, those practical tasks. The heart puppeteer, Matt Tate, there in the front, his again has those two tasks, practical and emotional. His practical task is selling us the weight of the horse. Now actually, no weight of the horse goes through the legs. It all goes through the puppeteers. So um, Matt has to do a really, really um, good job at telling us, selling us that weight of a real horse. Joey, the puppet, weighs around the same as me. But obviously a horse weighs a lot more than I do, so he has to really plant and drive those hooves into the floor to really let us know that it's a horse with a lot of weight behind it. Now he's able to use the breath as his emotional sort of indicator really, and he does that. There's a very small channel at the front, just at the top of the legs, between the legs and the chest. There's a really fine channel, and depending on how he breathes, tells us a huge amount from uh, what Joey is thinking, what he's feeling. So as you can see at the minute, he's relatively chilled. Nice and relaxed, nice steady breath. Again, if Joey was to suddenly start getting panicked or nervous, that breath might get a little bit higher, a bit tenser. You can see the way he uses that breath tells us a brilliant story about what Joey's thinking, what he's feeling. Good boy, if Joey was to be exhausted, he's been in the war for a very, very long time, he might exactly have slower, deeper breaths. And hopefully you'll agree, this sort of beautiful work really helps tell us a wonderful story as an audience. Now the hind puppeteer, Derek, here in the back, he has again those two tasks, a practical and emotional. So he's an emotional task, he's able to use the tail. And combined with the three of them, they're able to tell us a beautifully detailed emotional story. He's able to operate the tail with two triggers. One here on the top of this ski pole, basically a bicycle brake, and then on the other side as well. So one makes the tail lift up, and the other one makes the tail switch from side to side. I'll move out of the way so you can see that, um, so I'm not standing in front of it. Good boy, Joey, good boy. So the way that Derek is able to move, the, move those triggers makes the tail move. Now, his, um, his practical task is getting the horse gait correct. So um, Matt in the front on the heart, he can't see the chap behind him. He's strapped in basically with a backpack, so he can't turn around to check what's going out. So it's, um, it's Derek's job to make sure that as Matt moves forwards, Derek plants the hooves at the appropriate time and the appropriate pattern. Now it's quite difficult to explain, it's probably easier if we just show you. So for example, if Joey was to go into a walk, walk on Joey! They're walking to a pattern, a count of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So that's Joey walking. If Joey was to go into a trot, trot up. Good lad, good boy. So you can see he's now trotting at a count of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And if Joey was to break into a gallop, yeah, go on, Joey. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good boy, steady, Joey, steady. Good lad. Good boy. So it's Derek's job to make sure that all of those hooves are landing at the appropriate time. We've worked a lot with lots of different horse charities and horse trusts, and we've also watched lots and lots of different videos to make sure that we're getting all of those um, specific, specifics as, as correct as possible. Um, so the three of them, obviously, do a beautiful job of bringing Joey to life, I hope you'll agree. Now, Joey has got a very special party trick. We do like to we do like to show people at, at times like this. So hopefully, if he's good, um, we'll be able to be able to show off for you. Good boy, Joey. Right then, you ready? And way up, boy! They say never work with animals and children. Right. <laughs> Let's try that now. It looks like it does look like we've got a couple of schools in. Hello, how you doing? Brilliant. Now, if I, if I count to three, can you guys, and actually everybody as well, say a nice, big, loud, way up Joey? We'll see what happens. Right, everyone, after three. One, two, three. Way up Joey! 